Hey guys, welcome back to the Watches and Giggles channel. I'm Chris from Chicago. First off, as always, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate it. Guys, in today's vid, we're going to get into why I turned down the Rolex call and for a steel sports model. Why the heck did I do that? Well, we're going to get into all that. We're also going to touch briefly on economics and why I believe that will and has affected the watch market, guys. But before we get into all that, we'll see what I'm wearing. And today I have on the Rolex Submariner Bluesy, the 41 millimeter with the royal blue dial, that new dial, absolutely magnificent in the summer. It just dances in the sunlight. For me, this new Rolex Submariner model with the bigger class, tiny bit wider bra uh, bracelet, one millimeter, just fits me like a glove. So loving every minute of ownership with the Rolex Submariner. But all right, guys, let's get into today's vid. So uh, a couple days ago, I received a text, not a call from my authorized dealer, saying that they had for me available a Rolex Explorer 2 Black Dial. Now, I've been waiting uh, for the Polar version since... Oh, last year, probably around December or so. So where are we at? Seven, seven, eight months uh, I've been waiting for that. But they said they had available the black dial for me, but I turned it down. Why? Well, first and foremost, I'm not a flipper. I do not want both in my collection, at least not right now. And I really want to hold out for my first uh, white dial or polar dial uh, watch for my collection. And the legibility on this watch is outstanding. But I turned it down. I asked kind of, well, man, it, you know, thank you so much for thinking of me, but how did, how did it come to pass that you offered it to me? Well, they had two other people turned it down and they knew I was interested in this one. So they thought, hey, let's see if he'll take the black dial instead. I said, no. Now, why would these people turn down that watch? Well, they could be flippers. If they were enthusiasts and really wanted that watch, they probably wouldn't have turned it down. But I'm assuming they're looking at the aftermarket or gray market prices and you know that watch, uh, I believe MSRP is 9,550 or 9,500, not exactly sure. Tax over here is 10% in Chicago. You're about 10.5 out the door. And you could probably flip it still for, man, I don't know, 12, 12.5, 12 maybe 13. I'm not sure, but the watch market has hit a snag. And now we're gonna get into why the watch market has corrected and could be crashing pretty soon. So in my last video, we touched on economics 101. Uh, at that time, it was right before our Federal Reserve meeting and they were thinking of raising 50 basis points. Well, they didn't do that. They actually went up to 75. And just recently, I believe last week, Europe, uh, for the first time in a decade or 11 years, uh, raised their rates 50 basis points. So a half a point over there, which is the largest they've done in a while. We have our Federal Reserve meeting uh, coming next week. We also have our GDP uh, report coming out July 28th, which will indicate if we get negative growth. And that means if that happens, we will be in a technical recession here uh, in the U.S. So uh, usually when that happens, uh, guys in a recession, people tighten up. Right now, the Federal Reserve is doing what they call quantitative tightening instead of easing. So they're trying to remove liquidity slash money from the market uh, in Europe, Asia, the United States, all over. For the most part, markets are down. We've had a little bit of a bear rally as technically our market's still in bear territory here in the U.S. Uh, we had a tiny bit of a rally, I think 5% or so uh, for all the NASDAQ, the Dow, the S&P, uh, the Russell, they they bounce back a little bit, but that's typical in bear markets. And uh, really, if you look around, I'm sure wherever you are, you'll notice the economy is not great. Gas prices, I know, have come down a little bit, but they're still around $5 for a regular gallon here in the United States. And for most people, uh, that's going to squeeze them pretty hard. Food prices are way up. Everything's way up. Inflation is out of control. Uh, we had a record high here in the United States. Uh, our last report came out at 9.1% for inflation year over year for the last month. And that is just crazy. It's a 40 year high as long as I've been living. That's just not good. And in times like that, things go down. And those things are luxury items, cars, house market is starting to have a correction of sort over here. We're starting to get price reductions. So times are changing in the economy and most people, smart people are wising up to that. 
as well as it's gonna get a lot of flippers out of the Rolex watch market, which is good for us enthusiasts. So if you're waiting for a Rolex, guys, be hopeful if you have any decent relationship or maybe not. I mean, times may be changing pretty quickly here. I had a chance to buy a Rolex Daytona black dial for 30K brand new, someone offered it to me. Uh, that's amazing. A couple months ago, I believe they were going for 40 or 45. The Panda, I believe, was at 50 or 55. That's come all the way down to about 35. You can get it brand new. I mean, it's just prices are crashing. I mean, the Bluesy, I think at one point was 23 or 24. Now maybe 18 or 19. Uh, my Rolex Batgirl, I think, was at 23, 24. Now it's at like 17 or 18. I mean, prices are coming way down, but that's just what everything's doing for the most part. Everything is crashing down uh, because of this economy. So what I'll say is be mindful, uh, guys. And if you can afford these watches, if you love these watches, stay hopeful because you may be getting a call from your authorized dealer soon for that Rolex sports model uh, that you want. So that's going to do it for today's guys. Just a quick vid. Hope everyone's doing well and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.